Hi guys, so I wanted to make a little video to see if I can do anything to help the people of Moore, Oklahoma. Um, if many of you know, the tornado that hit yesterday completely, completely destroyed the entire town. If you see new news coverage or pictures, you know that it looks like a bomb completely went off. There's absolutely nothing left. I spent most of the day yesterday with my family um, just kind of watching the news and being in shock and feeling so, so sorry for all of those people who were affected, especially the kids in the elementary school. Last night, I think we felt especially grateful to have our house and a warm place to sleep and our pets were safe, especially after seeing everyone who was looking for their pets and trying to find them and not knowing if they made it or not. It's it's just so heartbreaking. I feel, I can't, I can't even describe how I feel for those people because I just can't understand what it's like to, I can't comprehend what it's like to have this big storm happen and then you go outside and everything's gone just gone. You can't find your house. You can't find your car. I just cannot imagine what that would be like. One of the things that completely broke my heart was watching the news and seeing the parents who couldn't find their kids from the elementary school and they went to where basically all the rubble was and firefighters just gave them a stool to sit down and just wait wait and see if they could find them and then to see when the news people were there and the firefighters were having to tell them I'm sorry we don't think we're going to find them and then the parents just losing it was just so so emotional but one of the other things that I wanted to show you and put in this video so once I'm done talking please continue to watch this um, is a video that completely brought me to tears this morning and if you own a pet you will break down in this video, so have tissues ready, but um, it's the reality of what's going on right now. And I live in Texas, and Oklahoma is right there next to us. And so even today, there is um, tornado warnings in uh, like the north part of Texas, where, is it, where I'm not from, but there's tornado warnings till 7 p.m. So if anyone is in the... Um, warning area or people who were affected in Oklahoma, my thoughts and prayers are with you. And um, again, if you can, text the word Red Cross to 90999 and donate $10. The $10 will be billed to your cell phone bill. And if some of you make daily purchases on Amazon or online shopping or whatever it is, maybe save your $10 for the day and donate it to the Red Cross. Whenever huge disasters like this happen, I always become immersed in what's going on and I am glued to the news while it's on and finding out every single thing that I can. But I finally realized that I have this platform of being able to reach people around the world who watch my videos and follow my story and I want to kind of use that to be able to help other people. And so if you're watching this, um, again, please donate to the Red Cross because that's what they're really asking for right now is donations. Um, if you can't afford it, thoughts and prayers, I'm sure will help them. But again, they're going to be needing lots of help to get through this. And I feel like as a community, even if you don't live close to them, we can somehow do our part to help. So again, if you are from more Oklahoma, if you know people who live there, if Whatever it may be, if you know like um, what it's like to go through something like this, please just keep everyone in your thoughts and prayers and put it in the comments. If you know someone who needs help or if you're looking for someone, please put their name in the comments. Maybe somebody else will be able to help you. But I will put links in the description to the Facebook page of where people are kind of getting information and locating loved ones and lost pets and whatever it may be. So again, guys, please help me and do your part and I will be donating $10 as well. So thank you guys so much. And again, just thank you. Thank you if you help. Thank you. Uh, I was holding my dog. 
on the stool holding my dog. This was a game plan all through the years, uh, you know, to go in that little bathroom. And uh, the electric never went off because the electric went off in the bathroom about the same time I felt the stool come up out of the floor. And I rolled around a little bit and when it stopped, I was right there, that presto cooker is what I saw. You were lying there in the uh -huh. hubble. And I never lost consciousness. Uh, and I hollered for my little dog and he didn't answer or didn't come. So I know he's in here somewhere. Uh -huh. But uh, it just, I mean, it, it was there and it was gone. Just, uh, just no time. And uh, then it was light, and I thought, well, I'm okay. And I had some stuff on top of me, and I started wiggling. Are you able to comprehend yet what happened here? I know exactly what happened here, exactly. And uh, what do you? I mean, what do you? What do you think of all this? This is your neighborhood. I can't imagine. This is life in the big city. The dog. The dog. The dog. Hi, Poppy. The dog. Oh. Oh, Poppy. Oh, Poppy. Bless your little bitty heart. Help me. Oh, Poppy. Oh. Oh. Oh, Poppy. Oh. 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 Come on, get him. Oh, 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 Well, I thought God just answered one prayer to let me be okay. He answered both of them. Because this was my life, my second prayer. Poor little thing.